All right, for today, we are gonna be performing some surgery. I have a seahorse here that's gonna need our help. He has a bacterial infection, also known as gas bubble disease. He has an infection in his pouch and the bacteria in there releases gas, which gets trapped and starts messing with his buoyancy. So he can't swim around properly and, and eat as comfortably and as easily as he could. So what we are gonna do today is massage that gas bubble out of his pouch. It's not an easy task, but we've got him right here in a collection cup. And I am going to put him right in here. So you have more room to work. I've also got some sewing needles here and some rubbing alcohol. We are going to pick one of these needles, not the smallest one, not the thickest one, somewhere in the middle. We are going to be using the blunt end of the needle, so not the pointy end, this blunt end. First thing you have to do is sterilize it. Sterilizer needle right here. All right, I have my sterilized needle. I don't have any gloves with me today, but if I did, I would recommend you use those. Now, the goal here is to keep the seahorse submerged while using the blunt end of the needle and massaging in this pouch right here. Do not just go in there suddenly. Just gotta massage it in there. See the gas coming out? Go from the bottom, squeeze it all out. There we go, now we're in there. A lot of times you can get it, but there's always a little more in there. Let's see. So he can actually swim upright. Should be good enough for now. actually swimming upright should be in a lot better shape so now he can get food and join the rest of the crew